Hi everyone, and as promised, here's a quick 5 or 10 minute video on Lightroom 5 Beta. Um, I'm going to show you some new features in Lightroom 5 and what I think of them. So, straight on with it. Um, it's telling me that I need to choose a catalogue, so we'll use the default catalogue. Um, just for now, we can go to Lightroom, Identity Plate. And we'll go there you go okay so we're now inside of Lightroom 5 so let's just import something in and we shall use the desktop now I have created a quick folder for this, um, which should be here. Now what I'm going to tick is, on the way in I'm going to tick, now these last three images are taken by my sister and they're not very great because she's not very good at photography yet but I've brought them in because I want to show you a filter on a few of them. So if we now tick, this, this is one of the great features of Lightroom 5. It's called Build Smart Previews. You can do it if you don't do it now once they're already in Lightroom, but I'm not doing a tutorial on how to do that. If you tick it on the way in, basically what will happen is if I import these into that to Lightroom now and tick that option, Lightroom will automatically build me a second preview of a DNG file at a slightly higher resolution. So if I add these on an external drive and I had to grab my laptop and nip out and thought, crap, I need to show the client a pictures. Whereas before you could only show them a preview. You couldn't zoom in. You couldn't do anything to it. It was just a little thumbnail preview. Now you can actually get a proper preview. At, I think it's 2048 pixels. So it's, it, you could even print it out at 8 by 6 if you really wanted to. And you get a preview even though the drive's not connected. And you can actually edit it as a raw file. You, you can do um, custom white balance. You can do all the features. Obviously a few of these are JPEGs. So that option won't be there on them to, to get the full capabilities. But you can do anything you can do with a raw file. You can even save it out for web as it's 2048 on the long edge where you only need 800 for web. So you can save it out for web. You can, you can, you can do anything with it. And I think it's a really good idea because if you come back to your catalogue in five years or open a catalogue, even though the drive's not connected, the drives could be in storage in a cardboard box, you'd still actually be able to have a good look at the image and be able to mess around with it as well, as, as long as you're not going to print it big. If you're going to print it big, you need to connect your drive back up so that Lightroom can then tell... It, all it'll do is update the instructions in the catalogue for the RAW file. So anyway, let's leave it ticked and let's import them in. Did I click import? My microphone's in the way. No, I didn't. <laughs> right, okay. That's one of the first best features that I like. Now, if you want, I, I mean, if you, let's just leave it as is then and we'll quit Lightroom. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go rename the folder with a 1 on the end. Now when I open Lightroom 5 Beta, it's going to moan. It's going to show a question mark next to the folder, which you've all seen before. But if you have a look at the new thing that's that's appeared... It is a little black box, and that's telling you that it's a smart preview that you're looking at. But watch what we can do in the smart preview. We can go into the smart preview, and we can still click in, zoom in, and edit the picture, even though the original is not connected as such. It's not using that original folder on the desktop to show me these previews. So that is absolutely... Let me just click solo on this. Yeah, we're already on solo. So that is absolutely a really good feature. I'm going to show you one more feature. Even when you're in the library module, the development module, this is the second most good feature. Press F and you get proper full screen mode, um, which is superb. I've always... I've always wanted that me, you know what I mean? So when you so basically you could import your pictures into Lightroom to the library module, then so you might bring five hundred wedding pictures in, then you could press your full screen now and then flag them or star them because you're getting a much, much bigger preview now. And these are actually, if you think about it, these previews are still only the the I'm working on the smart previews. 
at, at the other drives not connected look um but what we'll do just for now we'll just quit lightroom and we'll just rename that i don't know why but we will and so that's smart preview so that's two features and you'll see now that the little black box has gone but if we go to the develop module it's telling us we've got original and smart previews but now we'll press the f key again you won't really see much difference we zoom in it doesn't look much difference to the little jpeg that it's just created so there's two features third feature is in the book module you can now save custom layouts i don't use the book module i just know it's there so i thought i'd tell you uh, fourth in the slideshow module you can now add videos in there as well so you can put your movs and stuff in and you can make a slideshow mixing video and movs so if we go back to the develop that's four so we've got seven one of the new features is the let me just press the z key and zoom in don't know where i am sorry uh, we got any airs oh yeah this is perfect can we just right uh yeah one on one's big enough i'm gonna zoom in even more but we don't have to right okay oops that'll do right so one on one if we now click the spot healing brush which we've all used before and we click this i'll just press the h key and you can see now that we've all used this before um it was okay for removing a couple of spots but usually to remove a stray hair like this we'd go into photoshop so i'm just going to press the h key to hide those things so they are still there but i'm just hiding them now you can actually click and you can paint in and you see how that hair's just magically disappeared so basically if we press the h key i'll show you what's happened they're the sample points that's the sample point there that it used for that one um, so if we click that one now, I can go and move the sample point around. You could go like that if you wanted on there, look. But there you go. Press the H key. It's as good as the spot, the posh content aware and spot healing brush in Photoshop. And you can see now if we press the backslash key before and after, how we can do all our spot removal and we can even drag and go like this. And it's doing a fantastic job. And we've got there before after so you can see that that is a stonking feature it's going to save you go ahead press the z key to zoom out it's going to save you a real look now that is a raw file by the way so it, it does want editing but i've already edited them i'm just brought these in for the for the um video so there's a great fantastic feature we've also got another feature called the radial filter but i'm just going to go to maybe this one to show you that um now it's this is taken by my sister so if we look at this one it will be out of focus now oh no it's not mm, a bit soft because it'll be a kit lens but let's see what the radial filter does for us so let's say we want to brighten her up now this is not the the spot oiling brush is there by the way this is the radial filter so if we click and drag we can create what you call a custom vignette so we can go and now you can see we can even widen it a bit we can, we can do what we want and we can create plenty of these if we just keep it in new but now we can so we can Put the thingy up, knock the clarity down so it looks a bit softer. Um, lift the shadows on her eyes. Watch her eyes a bit and then bring the shadows up. Um, even bring that up a bit more. Cool it down just a shade. And you can see now if we press the backslash key, how you can create custom a custom vignette or a custom anything. It could be a custom sharpen, um, anything. You've got your exposure, your temperature, I and mean, you can go black on could go blue white yellow whatever you want to do and we'll just reset that um you've got your clarity so you can go up, bang go up like make a dirty face or you can put a right nice and soft or something like that so she looks nice and soft let's just remove a bit of red out of that um you can do noise removal um so we could remove some noise if there's any noise there um so that's another really superb feature um i don't think you can copy this I, i'm not I don't know if there's a special button you can click, but you can hit new. So you can, and you can invert the mask. So it actually works the opposite way around, um, which is another good feature. I'll just turn down that exposure to something like that. Um, and if we click new, 
we can do another one and and what we do we'll go over here and brighten that edge and then we'll hit no again and we'll brighten that tree and you can see there's the before and after now that's completely stupid and you'd never ever do that but you can see what i mean that's another great feature that you can do inside of lightroom it expands the capabilities of lightroom and for my wedding pictures it'll really save me i mean if i zoom in now and it's um if i wanted to get rid of the, some let's see if there's anything i wanted to get rid of this i can just go just give it a little paint in and there it goes i mean this image is very soft um, but you can see what I mean. Um, so that's another good feature. Now, if I can just go find, it's not really a landscape, but let's see if the lens, the new, the new feature in the lens correction is. Uh, can you see how it all? I mean, let's turn it off and on. This is a new feature. What will automatically straighten your horizon lines, and crop the perspective of your image. So it'll do both. Uh, I'm just trying to look for one that's out. Let's try this one. See if it's out. You see how it's straightening the area? It's straightening the building there. And it also does the perspective. So that's another fantastic feature. Let's just before. Look at the slanted. It's automatically straightening your image. I mean, if you look at that, that tree there, watch it. <laughs> that's smart. That's another superb feature. And last but not lot least, we've got visualised spots. Now, it's looking like that I've not got any stuff on my sensor, but now what you can do with this, you can turn it up, you can turn it down. And if you're looking for any spots uh, in the sky, and you can see that there isn't any, but you all know sometimes that sometimes you take pictures and you miss a bloody spot, and then you print it or something like that, and you think, what's that little blotch on my picture? And you didn't realise it were a dust spot. So there goes another feature. Um, and I think that's it, basically. Um, have we done the auto correction on this one? Yeah, we've done it to now. I'll we'll do auto. So that's another fantastic feature of Lightroom 5. Um, I have been using the spot healing brush a little bit, and I did find it to. It, Lightroom started chugging, but I am using a beta version of OS X 10.84 at minute, so it could have been that. But these new features are absolutely spot on. If Adobe or anybody from the Adobe team ends up watching this video, I would, I personally would like to see a selection tool. Nothing too advanced, but a basic selection tool would be great. And and basic mask, I think, would be great. Not not like Photoshop, but somewhere where you can do a little bit of. Uh, like make a selection and then mask it out I think that would be great as well um, I think that would just really finish Lightroom off where you won't be using Photoshop almost ever really if you could have a couple of masks and, and a couple of selection tools would be nice to see but it's definitely going in the right direction and I hope you like these seven features they are good um, in the develop module I'm really liking the smart previews option I'm really liking the new spot healing brush it means I don't have to go into Photoshop to clone uh, telephone wires out or clone airs off a face or stuff like that I like the radial feature where you can create custom vignettes custom white balances inside you can you could sharpen a tin can up on floor if you wanted I mean if we go to this one and you decided that you wanted to sharpen just um, Dakota you could go to the radial filter turn it down you could put the clarity up and the sharpness and then just go well that's sharpened me and you can see now I've just sharpened myself so we'll go before look how I'm really coming out we could even brighten me up a bit we'll go like that I mean these are JPEGs but, but you can see what I mean um, we can hit new I'm going to do another one here. And that, that's completely silly, but you, you see my meaning. I hope this video helps. Hopefully Lightroom 5 will be out soon. Thanks for watching. Please comment and subscribe.